saying that um, Erdell Grant did not do what he had told him to do over and over and over again. He told him and told him and told him. I said, told him what, Wenzel? And he said, told him to contact me before he ever did anything, because I knew stuff. And I said, I just put my hand up. I said, I don't hear that shit. That's when it started. And then what happened after that? After I said that, he went up the hall. He, he turned, went around my desk, just like this is my desk. <laughs> I was facing Agency Street. He went up, went up the hall. He said, sit on that. I never turned around. I assumed what he did. And um, what did you think he, did? he shot me a bird, made a good sign. And um, I said, kiss my ass, you bastard. I never got up from my desk, you know. When I said that, I was still facing Agency Street. And he went, I knew he'd gone up the hall, and I thought, well, I'm going to lock the back door. Oh. Started up the hall, but before I could get through the door, he was coming back at me. So you were still inside your office? Yes, I was still inside my office. He came in there and he screamed at me, I'm not a bastard. You hear me? I'm not a bastard, and I'm not your husband. And I said, Wenzel, get back. I mean, it scared me. It scared the daylights out of me. I've never had anybody do that. But anyway, so it, I went up the hall. He was behind me, saying stuff. I went out the door. I was hunting for the police. Mister. And I didn't see either one of them. And I thought, well, what am I going to do? And I was standing there right there at the door, and he got at me again. I don't know what, I don't, I probably called him noodly name. I don't know. I don't remember that part. But um, there is when I think he grabbed me around the neck and said, um, and, and I pushed him, you know, just a little bit to get him off of me. And that's when he slapped me, he knocked my glasses off on the pavement. And I picked my foot up, and I kicked him, and he landed in the floor of it. When she said, I'm not listening to your shit today, I was coming around her desk for a leave because I thought, this grand is a fine lady, but she's touching. And when you see that you touch the wrong button, the best thing for you to do is hit the road. And that's what I was doing. She was sitting in a chair. And she said, get out of here. You goddamn bastard. And I said, whoa. I wheeled around and I pointed at her. I said, don't you talk to me like that. I'm not your husband. You talk to him like that if you can, but you ain't talking to me like that. And before I got all that out, ow, she hit me with her left hand back right there. So she hit me. And then I pushed her away from me to get out of there as I said this thing, but then I tried to leave. Once I pushed her down in that chair, she went. Things were happening in milliseconds. Well, it wasn't like we got to have time to think about this and go down through the line. I mean, bam, 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 bam. So you do admit that you grabbed After she hit me, yes, ma'am. So you did grab her in the I didn't grab her. I just put my hand right here and pushed her away from me to get out of that. My statement continues that. It says, if you'll read that. Okay. Um, you heard Ms. Grant testify earlier that when y'all were outside, you hit her in the side of the face with your own hand. Do you call that? I did not hit her. Ma'am, I, pardon me, I have never, ever slapped a woman. I have never put my hands on a woman. But you admit pushing her away, like grabbing her neck and pushing her. In the office, yes ma'am. Okay. 